Moving into item three, we have the Board of Education Matters and uh, item 3.1 is for action. We have the final budget amendment. Mr. Cooper. Uh, good evening. I'll draw your attention to the screen. Not very many slides, so hang in there. But we have really, if I could remind you, uh, two things that we have to do this evening. We've gone through our workshop. We did our proposed budget, uh, excuse me, 18-19 budget to the board, and our public hearing was on June 11th. And tonight we need board action. And the first thing we're looking at is the uh, final uh, budget amendment for 17-18. And I'll go over that in just a second. And then we'll ask you to approve uh, the 2018-19 budget. <clears throat> uh, always works this way. And as you know, even when we uh, give you the final estimate on 17, 18. Once the audit comes in, that will be the definitive final one. And, and again, uh, we try to get close, but there's a lot of variance at the end where people do or do, don't spend uh, money that they've reserved aside. So, okay, so what you're looking at here, uh, the three columns takes you back through 17, 18. So the very first column, far to the left, that's where we started back in June of 2017. Um, that's how much we thought we'd have in revenue, expenditures, our excess variance, uh, and our unrestricted fund balance, and what percent that was. The middle column is March. That's when we revised it. If you remember, we come in, and in <clears throat> March we revised the budget and changed some things, and you can see that the revenues had changed, and so had the expenditures. That's, by the way, that middle column is the column we get to work off when we're developing the 18-19 budget. We don't have this last column, which is your final uh, amended part until uh, after that budget's already come to the board because we're still working on both budgets at the at the same time. Um, what you'll see if you look in that last column, uh, the difference between the March and the June estimate, uh, you'll see the revenues up slightly. I think it's about sixty thousand. That's not much change. That's usually just a slight change from one of the grant funds out of the state. And you'll see expenditures down about uh, four hundred and forty thousand. Uh, again, not a great amount for the size of the budget, but that has everything to do with like purchase services and instructions that didn't get done. And so that might be, you know, something they had planned to do but didn't do. Or it could be, uh, I know, for example, I was looking at special ed para uh, pros. The budget for that for their salaries came in a little less. So when you see those uh, expenditures change, it's really, that's our variance. You've just seen it ahead of time. And it's items that since March, uh, the different budget groups are not able to spend. You'll see we're looking at excess revenue about 2.5 million. Uh, if we get a 1% variance on top of that, even though historically it's two to three, it does jump around. So we usually use one to kind of predict where we'll be. And you'll see that our surplus looks like be $3.3 million. Unrestricted, remember, we always talk about this. There's a fund balance. Uh, but in our fund balance, we do have gifts that have been given to us that are restricted. And so I try to show you the unrestricted part that's back there. And you'll see that that looks to be about, uh, on June 30th, uh, 15.6 uh, million, which is about 19.5% of the expenditures. Um, I would say just a couple of things here as you look at the differences going forward. Um, the biggest difference always, especially when you're looking at the fund balance, is we are actually starting one budget before we know the ending fund balance of the previous years. So really the biggest jump usually happens between that first June budget and the March adoption because that's when we actually know where we're starting from. Mm -hmm. And in this case, um, if you were to go back and look, uh, the fund balance started about $2 million higher than we ever thought it was going to start when we put the budget together. So that's one of the adjustments you see. That's more in the fund balance part. Um, you'll see the expenditures, of course, and revenues fluctuate depending on, again, as we take more money in, a lot of that comes from grants. So we have uh, equivalent expenditures going out at the same time. So that's going to be the final amended budget. Uh, there was a copy in your, your board packet of the budget itself and the most recent uh, breakdown or summary of expenditures. And that would take a, a roll call vote for you to, to approve the final amended budget for 2017-18. Okay, I'll accept a motion for item 2.1. I move we ex um, accept the amended 2017-18 final or final budget amendment. Support. Moved by Angela, support by Patrick. <clears throat> Is there any discussion? Seeing none, uh, we'll take a roll call vote. Is that right, Bob? Yes. Roll call vote. <clears throat> okay. President Singer. Aye. 
Vice President Branstad. Aye. Treasurer Fritzi. Aye. Member Baker is not hit here. Member Blazy. Aye. Member Friedel. Aye. I also vote yes. We have six yes votes. Great. Thank you. And that is unanimous for the approval um, of item 3.1. Moving into item 3.2 for action, we have the approval of the 2018-19 general operating budget. I'll change one more slide there and, and turn it over to Mike. That is just a summary of what we presented the last time. And so with that summary, if you recall, um, we are asking you to approve a budget that has revenue over expenses again, probably not as uh, high as we did this year. Um, but we are expecting a slight student decline in enrollment. And um, with the raising of the fund balance will assist us um, quite a bit with um, increasing payroll. We are all time low at our payroll, with, especially with staff turnover we've had the last three or four years. And so you're at the low side of that payroll, and it will only go up from there. Uh, we also know that we need to continue to do capital improvements and capital purchases as, as well. So um, Bob did a great detailed job of explaining this budget to you. Um, and again, the process, as you know, is this is an estimated budget with um, student count not known, um, some, some grand dollars not known, and it'll be adjusted as we go. So we are looking for approval, and this, we would also recommend a roll call vote on this. Okay. And I would entertain a motion. I Come. move for approval of the 2018-19 <clears throat> general operating budget. Support. Moved by Angela, supported by Mary, and we're open for discussion. Well, you did a thorough job uh, a couple weeks ago with the budget, and we asked questions there, and I feel we got all our questions answered and appreciate all your hard work. We'll go into a roll call vote for this. Okay. President Singer. Aye. Vice President Branstad. Aye. Treasurer for Z. Aye. Member Blazy. Aye. Member Friedel. Aye. I also vote yes, and we'll note that Member Baker is absent. Great. Thank you. 